What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Guys, today this is probably the best, easiest, fastest, well it's definitely the fastest and easiest. It's probably the best Lost Sector in the game. I'm talking clears in 50 to 55 seconds every single time. Easy money. Like, I have an anti-unstoppable pulse. I have the Gallahorn because of the solar burn, obviously. So solar burn will pretty much take out the barriers one shot. You stun the unstoppable with the uh, pulse, and then you hit him with the galley. It'll take him out one shot. Um, there's only about like the three champions and then the boss. But as you see, majority of the time, the enemies are so close together that you're going to take almost all of them out with the Gallahorns. As long as you hit the champions with them, it'll take them out, and the wolf packs will take out all your surrounding. So all you do is do as I did in this, and at the end of every single one, I will show the build. And I will also link every single build in the description from DIM. So if you're on PC, you can copy that. But if you're on console, then you could just follow this the way that I have it. So I'm using Galley, a pulse, and I'm using my mini tool because it's solar. It is arc shields, but there's no arc shields. I, I didn't see any. And if there are, Galhorn takes them out. So I was just using that for the arc burn in case I absolutely need it. Rocket launcher loader, rocket launcher ammo finder, double rocket launcher reserves and rocket launcher scab. The rest, I, I actually switch to high energy fire too because I do get charged with light. Um, so if that happens, I'll do the bonus damage as well. So basically copy all of this if you're on console, like I said, and if not, link will be in the description for dim. Guys, by the way, if you're new to the channel and you hear me growl or grunt, I have Tourette syndrome and I can't control that. Hopefully it doesn't bother you that much. And also, if you're new to the channel, I upload Destiny content every single day, um, tips, tricks, uh, walkthroughs guides opinions all that stuff every single day daily it's not just things like this um so subscribe to the channel if you're new hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on an upload it's really appreciated it really helps me out guys it pushes my videos to the algorithm and uh I, it's free to do so if you could do that if you enjoy it or like it at any point in this video then that would be awesome i'd really appreciate it and if for some reason you want to unsubscribe at some point and tell me my content sucks in the comments by all means i'll accept it but I don't think you will. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos, guys, and I hope you enjoy them and get all the fun and help out of them that I hope that you get when I make them. So that's that. But like I said, by the way, the Titan still, I feel, is the most OD build right here. I will also link this build in the description, like I said, as well as the other ones. This build is by far... I'm a hunter main, but I still think this is the strongest build in the game. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, weapons don't even matter. Just the build itself is ridiculous. But going um, rocket launcher, everything again. The double rocket launcher reserve, so I have the extra rockets to fall back on. Because you really don't need much. As you saw, it's pretty much you just stun the unstoppables with the pulse. Make sure you hit your gal horns. Pop the barrels so that they take out the surrounding enemies. And just use this class, and you're pretty much immortal on the Titan anyway. So... The stats, by the way, I lowered some recovery and stuff because I wanted to keep my resilience at 100. That was big, you know, so normally I have um, max resilience, max recov, but I wanted to add different mods to be able to keep my resilience at 100 and also be able to add certain things for these builds to be able to do better damage or faster reload on my rockets or the unstoppable pulse or anything like that, guys. But even with this one and on the art class, obviously it is solar burn, but it didn't really matter because the Galhorn's the solar burn and that's really all that matters. So even on this one, on the Warlock, I didn't even change to a solar class. I still use my arc and actually turned out really well because I always have the arc buddy with me. So I'll just doing extra damage, but exact same way, take everything out, hop up here. And now from a distance with Galhorn, you can just finish everything off and it's going to be 50 seconds every time. Guys, like I said, you can literally run these so fast. And if you use my method to be able to choose which exotic you get, you can stack up as many exotics and then pop them on the day that it comes out. I will also link that video in the description so that you can see that if you weren't able to do it before or didn't know about it. There is a way and a method to use to be able to get as many exotics as you want for farming and then you can pop them on a certain day and you'll be able to choose which piece of gear you get so like arms i don't need arms today so if i wanted to do something for like a better omni for my hunter i would just stack them all today and then i'd pop them on that day so i'll link that in the description so you could see it guys this is pretty much going to do it for this this is this build copy it on console links to all the dim will be in the description all the other links that i talked about in this video will be in the description as i said if you're new guys please hit the subscribe button the bell notification you don't miss out on an upload and it really helps me out that's going to do it for this one guys as always i'll catch you guys in the next one
like, and subscribe.